the function of that police action, those interventions in Central America and the Middle East, the function is system sustaining. It is to maintain that overall system. And you don't look at the particular cost. I could demonstrate to you that every single bank robbery, that in every single case practically, the cost of the police was more than the actual money that the robbers took from the bank. Does that mean, oh, you see, there's really no economic interest involved then. They're not protecting the banks. The police are just doing this because they're on a, a power trip or they're macho or uh, they're control freaks. That's why they do it. No, of course it's an economic. Of course they're defending the banks. Of course, because if they didn't stop that bank rob, regardless of the cost, this could jeopardize the entire banking system. You see, there are people who believe that the function of the police is to fight crime. And that's not true. The function of the police is social control and protection of property. <laughs>
I don't like to use the word U.S. interests. That's why I wish some other critics, friends of ours, would stop saying, we go into this country, we go into that country, we do this and we do that. And I'm going to say, shh, shh, we don't do a thing. They do it to us. We are part of the victims. We're not part of the victimizers. <laughs>
purpose of it. Capitalism would not collapse if Grenada remained revolutionary. And Reagan was right. It wasn't a matter of direct resources that you needed from that country. He said, nutmeg is not the question. I mean, that was Grenada's biggest export. We could get perfectly good nutmeg from Africa. You don't need Grenada's nutmeg. So why did they invade Grenada? They invaded Grenada because they were serving notice to the people of the Caribbean and to the people of Latin America and to the people of the world that you cannot drop out of your client state free market system. That if you try to take an independent source and that if you use your land, your labor, your resources and your capital and your markets in a different way, in a collectivist way, if you use them to benefit the needs of your people rather than to be milked like a cow for foreign investors, if you do that, this is what's going to happen to you.
They say that a hanging man hears glorious music. I wonder what it sounds like. Yeah. 